up everybody, my name is Holden ZA. Welcome to another commentary as uh, it has been a while and I do apologize for that. But let's get into this Call of Duty gameplay before we take our initial steps into our conversation. So this is just hardpoint solo league play. I'm running Escort Drone, Stealth Chopper and I believe uh, Lightning Strike. As well as the MSMC with Long Barrel, Quick Draw and perks are Lightweight, Extreme Conditioning, Toughness and Tactical Mask. I do have a Simtex as well as a Smoke to complete the Pick 10 system. Woof, got that out the way. Okay, so now let's get into exactly what I want to talk about. I want to talk about the Call of Duty multiplayer reveal is number one. And uh, whatever we have time for at the end, uh, I've got a little surprise for you guys. And I hope you guys join me on the journey as I'll go into that in a bit. So the multiplayer reveal for us South African players was uh, Wednesday night. And uh, as you guys know, I'm deeply involved with uh, the esports side of life and uh, especially with Call of Duty so I managed to uh, get very excited as soon as they dropped the word esports on that title screen and uh, they didn't divulge too much as they said they would speak about it more at a later date as uh, the game is currently in beta and uh, I do believe that uh, the competitive side of things does require more finesse and fine tuning when it comes down to balancing and all that kind of jazz but uh, it was announced that it's going to be picked up on the MLG circuit, which has a, an amazing ripple effect on the rest of the world as uh, we get to see competitive basically just spread across uh, all areas uh, of the gaming community, especially on the console side as soon as they announce uh, MLG is involved. And uh, it's going to be defined as the um, single FPS for uh, MLG, I believe, on console. So that's quite uh, good to hear. And uh, let's now talk about the more core elements of exactly what competitive go is going to be able to offer on uh, Call of Duty Ghost. Uh, one of the things that I did want to uh, I did want to talk about one of the things that I do want to talk about is um, the fact uh, of dynamic map elements. Now, the first time they announced this, I was thinking, oh boy, here we go again. Uh, Infinity Ward is not going to be stepping up the program, but it seems it's actually exactly the opposite. I'm, I'm very excited about this, especially when it relates to the competitive side. Um, we're going to be able to see a brand new meta game included into Call of Duty Ghosts, and that is something I can't wait to see. Meta game is just basically the extra strategic game. Uh, the background game uh, of uh, first-person shooters and uh, we're going to be able to see that involved on a new level with these dynamic map elements and the difference is why this is going to be so much more or should I say so much better than um, any other dynamic map element that we've seen in previous Call of Duties is the fact that these map elements are going to be player triggered so why this is so important is due to the fact that Take for example Black Ops 2 uh, Express where the train used to roll through. There was no there was no element of of skill involved in trying to use the train to take out your opposition. There was no it basically came through and if you if you're in the way of the train then you're in, in the way of the train and that's uh, that's pretty much how it worked. So you could use that in public lobbies as you as you like, but uh, on competitive it just really didn't apply as there was no player interaction in between. Now, however, in Call of Duty Ghosts, we're going to be able to see the players actually take control of these elements and use them to their advantage or to their disadvantage at the end of the day. And what I'm really hoping for when they come out with these map designs is that there's going to be a lot of counters to um, certain... So you, you see, okay, they're going to go for the petrol station explosion. So this is going to give them X amount of cover. So now we're going to need to be able to explode this van or this wall so we can actually counter the fact that they use this petrol station to their advantage. Uh, I can't wait to see that and hopefully it plays out in a very methodical kind of way so uh, each side is going to have a counter to the other and uh, they're both going to have fair chances to uh, use map, map should I say, ad advantages to um, to their advantage. Wow, that's a, that's a fail of language skills there. But anyway, you guys understand what I'm talking about. And um, next thing I want to talk about is that I'm very happy to see is that they started, they kept the general idea of the pick 10 system that we saw from Black Ops 2. Black Ops 2 implemented a great method of the pick 10 system which basically means you get to use 10 items 
from all of your class slots and uh, try to make the best combination to counter your opposition. So now we're going to be able to see that very similar way to uh, Black Ops 2, but uh, slightly different, slightly tweaked, uh, as we're going to be able to see that used in score streaks, or should I say kill streaks now in Ghosts, as well as your perk system, your guns, and all that kind of jazz. So I also want to talk about the score streaks and kill streaks. It looks like they've taken uh, air control uh, substantially out of the game, which I can say that I'm actually relatively happy about. Just due to the fact um, that it now is more skill reliant, I'd like to think, uh, if it's going to be ground based. So, say for example, I don't think the UAV is obviously going to be implemented into competitive players. It has been one of those things that do stay out of the game. Um, you're going to be able to use score streaks like Riley the dog. I know we speak too much about Riley the dog. But uh, that's going to be very, very useful, I'm thinking, for modes like Search and Rescue, which got announced recently, which looks like a competitive viable game mode, as well as uh, Search and Destroy if that returns. I am not uh, too sure on that at the moment. You guys can probably let me know in the comment section below. But um, that's going to be very interesting to see, as he does growl. So basically, when you're in those clutch moments, you can walk around with Riley, and if he does growl, you know you, you, you do have that advantage on your opposition. But now, the thing is, I'm wondering is uh, whether the opposition can hear uh, Riley growl. So if you sit around a corner and you hear this dog growling, you're going to know that they're both around there, and you can also use that to your advantage. So it's going to be very, very interesting to see exactly how that plays out. But uh, yeah, let's wait for Call of Duty to... Uh, announce their esports side as they said or promised us that they would do. I want to talk about and I want to leave it as a bit of surprise if you guys don't follow me on Twitter. It is the fact that I'll be going to Gamescom Cologne and I got the invitation on the back end of, I don't know if you guys remember, I was supposed to go to the Call of Duty Championship not too long ago um, with the XTAS crew. I was going to go as the coach or manager of the team and um, unfortunately that didn't transpire just due to the fact that my visa was uh, busy processing and is still processing after three and a half months, but we'll leave that as is. So yeah, I'm gonna be going to Gamescom Cologne. I'm flying on Monday to Istanbul, and then I'm going to be transferring over to Germany. First trip overseas, and I personally can't wait for this to happen, as uh, I'm very excited, especially if it's related to gaming. I can't wait to do it, as uh, I'm deeply involved with the scene, and especially uh, the community from our side. I'm gonna be trying to get as much feedback from uh, Gamescom Cologne as possible. I'm going to be trying to get as much footage, write as many articles if I do manage to get a laptop up there and um, just basically get as much as possible to uh, bring back to you guys. So I'd like to really invite you guys on the journey with me as uh, I'll probably include my Twitter as well as Instagram account just below in the description box so you guys can uh, tag along on the journey. And uh, please, please keep in contact with me as um, if there's anything you would personally like to see, I'll try to go out of my way to make it happen as uh, I'm going to be your South African eyes and ears in Gamescom Germany. I need your guys' feedback on exactly what you would like to see um, to add to the list of obviously things I'd also like to see as I'd also like to pick up a couple of items uh, to maybe give away a swag uh, in a competition or a giveaway of some sort. A lot of people, um, especially a lot of my gaming buddies, have been asking me to bring back some League of Legends code skins for them. I'll try to get my hands on as many as possible. As uh, it's it's a scene, especially amongst our Call of Duty players, that has picked up uh, quite recently is the League of Legends. But yeah, let's talk more about the Gamescom Cologne. We're going to be able to see a playtest um, of Call of Duty Ghosts, as I mentioned earlier. And one thing that I can't wait to do is test out the new consoles as I believe that is going to be an option at Gamescom, the PlayStation 4 as well as the Xbox One. I uh, can't wait to get my hands on that controller. Hopefully I'll be able to do a little video on that side as well as... Uh, because one thing I really want to see is... Um, I'm a claw player. If you're unfamiliar with what a claw player is, you guys uh, can Google it as I don't have time right now to describe it. And I want to be able to see if you can do that with uh, the new Xbox One controller and exactly how comfortable it is. And uh, also I'll, I'll just get a normal hand overhand grip uh, just to try see exactly how that plays out. So I can't wait to play test that. I also want to check the PlayStation 4 controller as it is a bit bigger and uh, that's something I, I really struggled with with the PlayStation 3 controller. It just felt a bit small as that's also going to be very interesting to check out. So we are coming to the end of this commentary and if there's one thing that I can just echo is if you guys are interested and if you want to follow me on the journey as I want you guys to come join me on the journey to uh, Gamescom Germany 
please check out that Twitter and Instagram in the description below. Uh, alternatively, I will see you guys at Gamescom. It's going to be one hell of an experience. And uh, I once again just want to thank everybody who uh, made this happen. So I'll catch you guys there. Cheers.